Oh yeah, guys. Right. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's coming up. Hopefully, I've edited it a lot better than what I've done in the past. I'm hoping you enjoy it. I do apologise that I repeated myself quite a few times in this video. So yeah, let the video begin. Hi you guys, blue fence here. Alright, as you can see, go out. We're gonna dip in that one today. Got a combat tactical one on today. Nice lightweight one. There's Dopey Dog getting excited. Happy and everything like that. I'm happy. So yeah. Wait, I might actually um I'll talk to you for a minute. We got drop got drop we've just got dropped off. We're at Bible Tour Reservoir. Beautiful day. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, and it's not raining, so yeah. Let's start again, shall we? Right, this camera is a Polar Eyes, a Polar Eyes 18 megapixel camera, so yeah. As I said, there's a view so far. We're not going far today, that's good. But, Yeah. Doppy Dog's now going to spin me around. This looks like I've got on my back at the moment, guys. It's bloody lovely. Should have got one of these in the first place. I should have spent the money straight away on this. Especially when I'm doing this camping in Malarkey. This hiking stuff. Should have got one of these straight away. As you can see, there's Doppy Dog in front. Yeah, we're coming. Right, we're coming up to Sheep's Tour now. I don't know if I want to cut through the dam or if I want to cut or stick to the road. Mm. I think we'll cut through the dam, girl. So, yeah. I do apologise if it's jumpy. It's just that I'm new holding the camera and nothing like that, so. Right, I'm going to pause you there in a minute, guys. I'll be back in a minute. Right, we're at the dam now, guys. As you can see, there's the dam, there's the water. I can't show you the other way because there's people coming opposite direction to me. So I don't want to you know, intimidate them. It's beautiful here. Yeah. I have to believe how empty it is of the water. I've never seen it this empty before. Usually, this, this dam's full. This is insane. Come on, go. Come on. Don't follow to in arm. This is insane. I've never seen it this empty before this dump. But yeah, but why not funny you guys? I don't know if you can see that because of the um, lighting. But what in front of you is Sheep's Tour. That's a tour I've got to climb up. In a minute. It's the tour me and Dopey Dog's going to climb up. That's the tour what I think that's Sheep's Tour. Am I? Oh, my, no, it's not actually. Sheep. No, am I? Hang on, sorry guys, I'm just thinking at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, I'll have to climb up Sheep's Tour in a minute. That's going to be a nice challenge and a half for us because we haven't done that for nearly six, seven months. So, yeah. Looks like they're doing a lot of work up here. It looks like. Especially how empty the water is. And when I do get up top of Sheep Store, we will be doing a. Um, Thing. Go this way. We're not going, we don't need to go over there now today. We've already had lunch. Oh, we're cutting down a load of trees as well. There's all those trees at one station there. They're all gone. That's all boggy.
Chris is mine. Not complaining, but insanely mad. Now we've got a sign saying stop, I think. I never, never in a million years can remember walking on the side of the dam. On that side of the dam, on that side of the, on that side, on this side. I've never known it to be like that before. Years. Right, well, I do apologise again, guys. Nice. This is lovely. I'm happy. As you can see, Dolphy Dog's happy. There she is. Went around like a blue ass fly. Are you happy as hell? Happy as Larry. You don't want to see that because she's gone for a wee. <laughs> but yeah, this is lovely, guys. I'm I'm just over the moon really happy at the moment. I never thought I'd be out here. This time of year. Oh. I truly didn't think I'll be out this time of year. By the way, guys, I don't know if not many people put this on their videos because I've never noticed it, but Dartmoor's true name is called Dartmoor Forest because in Henry VIII's time, this used to be a forest. It used to be lush lands in the middle, middle ages where people used to grow their crops they used to live up here, lots of people like that I am thinking about doing a bigger walk with Dopey Dog next year we are going to do some more walks this year but next year I'm thinking about doing a bigger walk Again, yeah, alright. So, I just want to know what you lot think, really. Wait until, well, I'm, when, I'm looking forward to when I go on the actual moorland instead of sticking to the road because sticking the road is hard work. But going on moorland, so much fun. I love it up here. The old trees like that one, growing through a, um, Freestanding wall. Come on, go. Come on. You can see like that. Wow, these batteries are not going to last very long. Well, it looks I think these two or so ones. I should have gone. I should have gone over to Tesco and bought 25 batteries for the price of the same price I paid for these ones. Wow. All right, I'll um, stop you now, guys, and I'll bring you back when we get near Sheep Store. Right, as you can see where Dopey Dog is, this is the beginning of Sheep's Tour. This is where everybody struggles. This is where Potato Head struggled. This is where me and Dopey Dog struggled when we first went out because of the heat. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to complain. Beautiful up here. It's a beautiful day, and I love it. Come on, and I love it. I love every single thing about this day. It's not an easy tour to climb up, by my means, but it is one of the, one of the easy ones. As I was saying, Dopey Dog's loving it. I'm out of practice, but I am hot. Just got to keep an eye on the camera now, because for some reason it's saying battery low. As I was saying before, next time. When I come out and do this, I'll um, I'll get some different batteries. Anybody can recommend some batteries? Please be my guest. As I was saying, if any of you lot can recommend some batteries, please be my guest because already, by looks of things, me and Dopey Dogs 
We've not even gone a mile, maybe a mile and a half, not even a mile yet. And I've already run out of one set of batteries already. So, anybody who can recommend some batteries, please do. Right guys, I'm going to leave you there for a the minute. So there you go guys, I apologise about the wind, just had to change batteries because we've got no batteries. But yeah, as I was saying, we're heading over that direction, where we're camping over there tonight. Over there is just where we've worn. That's Kim's head tour. it will take you north because that's towards um what do you call it Princeton. so i'm gonna leave you there for the minute guys because i want to get down out of this wind because it's actually quite windy so yeah but before i go i don't know if you can see it leave you now guys because at the end of the day I've got to get past some cows as you can see there's one coming towards us there's two lying down there and there's one stone over there and dopey dogs terrified of them so we'll leave you there for the minute guys see you in the back of a bit right guys we've gone past the cows as you can see they're there I know you can't really see because there's cloud it's um it's cloudy but sunny at the same time it's weird very 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 cold windy day though but not as bad as I thought it would be today Come on. See that dog. There she is. Terrified as a usual. But never mind. There's some sheep over there, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see them, but there's some sheep there. And there's some sheep there. Uh, tell you one thing though, I miss being up here so much. I didn't realise how much I would miss it. Come on girl. Come on, let's go! I don't realise how much I've missed being up here. Oh, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. This is what I call Dartmoor. Rugged, windy, cold. Well, I'm not cold, I'm walking, but if I stood still in this wind, I would be absolutely freezing. I do apologise if you can't hear me properly, but I have got my mouth quite close to the camera, so hopefully it'll pick it up. If not, I will put, um, what do you call it, subtitles on, if I know how to do that. And I want to say a massive thank you to the Real Love Festival for showing me how to do some editing on videos, because I didn't realise there was an editing software already built in on my laptop. So he showed me that a couple of days ago, a couple of evenings ago, so I want to say thank you to you, and hopefully one day you'll join me up here and enjoy Dartmoor through and through, and then I can show you the best camp spots on here, and the best places to see things, and the best places to walk. I love it up here, you will see me more guys, more times up here guys, and it's going to be fantastic. As you can see, there's Dopey Dog, she's now just seen some more cows, so I think she's terrified of them. Oh no, she's going toilet now, I don't think you want to see that. But yeah, there's more cows coming up. But I'm going to leave it there for the minute guys, because the batteries are running on this one, and I've only got four batteries left after this, back, after this set. As I said, if you can recommend any batteries, please do. Alright guys, I just had to get this on video. Yeah, they say dopey dogs are big toffee. Yeah, look, look, look at this. I'm walking this way. We're walking closer to the cow. She sees the cow, and she's gone. I'm walking towards the cow. She's walking right beside me. All right, there's two cows there. But now she's seen them. She's over there. See, she's terrified of them. 
and they and they call and they call this this breed of dogs vicious and aggressive and everything like that. And I've got a dog who's terrified of cows and sheep. But that's brilliant when you're on the moors because you know nothing will happen. And yes, I put out you know guys she is on the lead, as you can see. She always will be on the lead until we get to camp and then when I set up my tent. I'll show a video on that as well, how I set up my when I set up my tent. I might actually do a proper one through that tent this time as well to show you guys because I think it's a bloody beautiful tent. I think it's a fantastic tent. That's another thing I would highly would recommend. And to tell you the truth, I'd highly would recommend this rucksack. This rucksack, I've had quite a few of them. I've had quite a few rucksacks in the past. And apart from my black one you've all seen me use in the old you see me all change you've seen me change. I love that one to bits because that one's comfortable. But my good god sauce this one. I've got an air gap, I've got it tastes to my chest um, close to my waist, it's all the weight on my hips, not on my shoulders. Don't even feel the rucksack on at all. So I'd highly, highly recommend it. Well I'm just gonna turn you around for a minute. That's better, you can see me now. Yeah. As I was saying, I highly recommend this Osprey rucksack. Yeah. Um as you can see, as I said, Dolphy Dog's not carrying a rucksack because we're only out for one night. We're only out for 24 hours, so there's no point in carrying a rucksack. So, yeah. No idea what time it is. I don't even want to know the time it is because to the truth, I'm so enjoying this. We are supposed to come up a cubed head tour tonight. But the thing is, the speed we're walking, we're not even walking that fast, we're actually walking quite slow. Yeah. As you can see, I ain't got my stick neither because I didn't want to take it because I couldn't carry that as well as carrying the camera as well as carrying the dog on the lead. So, and I didn't want to carry something if I'm not going to use. Instead of choice with this rucksack, I don't think I need it. So, yeah. As I was saying, we were supposed to camp at Kumtead Tour tonight, but I don't think we will be because Kumtead Tour is quite close now. We're about a mile and a half away from Kumtead Tour, so I don't think we will be. But, yeah, I'll soon let you know. I'm going to leave you there guys because at the end of the day, as I said, I'm just enjoying myself and I don't want to make this video forward and I don't want to sound like I'm talking too much. But I'll show you the view quickly. That's where we, that's where we just came from. Dopey dog, and there's me again. Right, I'm gonna leave it there, guys, because as I said, these batteries are running lower quick, are dying a lot quicker than what I'm expecting. And as I said before, I've only got four batteries left, and I don't know what else to suggest. So, if any of you lot can recommend batteries, I know I'm repeating myself, but please do. Okay, guys, I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hiya, folks. I'm back. It's been about an hour or so. I think about a couple of hours since we've set up. So yeah, um, this will be a quick bit because I'm only on my last set of batteries because these batteries are going way faster than what I expected. So and again, I know I'm keep repeating myself. If you could recommend any decent batteries, please let me know. So yeah, um, we're all set up. I'm on my second cup of tea. I'll go around and show you the tent quickly, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys. Give me a second. Right, as I was saying before, this is the um, Bango Banshee 200. As you can see, I'm slowly going to walk around it. Slowly because I've got no shoelaces done up. As I said, it's been a couple of hours since we've actually stopped. So, yeah. There's the information if any, anybody's interested. Banshee 200. TBS2. Turn van system, 5000 mm waterproofing, fire resistant, and power light 7001 slash T6 alloy. So, yeah. Same again, guys, this is where we're camping. That's that side. I did camp here once with Potato Ed, and if Potato Ed remembers, that was full of black flies last time, but this time there's no black flies in sight, thank you. Yard for that because I was eaten alive and I ended up really seriously ill afterwards. So that's that tree, and then I'll come down this way. We are camped near some water, as you can see right there. But we're camped on 
four sides of three sides of water. There's that side because there's only three sides you can get into. So there's that side. There's that side because that water goes up right up to that tree over there. And then there's that side. And I think there's water, and there's water that side as well. So basically we're we're stuck around water. It's not very deep water, but it is deep in places. So yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful evening. I think. By the way the weather's going, I think it might rain later. Looks like it, but if it does, it does. I'm not bothered. So, yeah. Right. I'll see you soon, guys, because I'm leaving it there. As I said, this is the last set of batteries. Alright, bye guys. Right, guys, this is the inside of the Van Gogh. As you can see, there's my, there's my um, OEX sleeping bag and OEX mat. Fantastic piece of kit. I will do a talk about later. There's the map. I keep the map out beside me on the phone, which should be inside there, but it's not at the moment because it's so much easier. I got my cup of tea there, right beside Dopey Dog, which is underneath my map. And as you can see, it's kind of a bit of a mess in here today. I'm kind of messy. I don't know why, but I think it's probably because I haven't been out, I guess, for about six months, six, seven months. I haven't been out since Dopey Dog had a leg operation, so. Yeah. Ugh. But wait, we're going to leave it there, as I said just now. And Dopey Dog's going to go sleep for an hour. I might join her. Okay, guys. Right. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. See you in a minute. Hi, right, guys. Um, so I haven't been on for a while. But at the end of the day, I've got no battery on the phone. Like, um, on the phone on the camera again. So uh, this is the last lot of batteries. So, I will be saying goodnight, and see you in the morning. Bye guys, bye. Good morning. Oh. Good morning. Me and Dopey Dog slept really well. There she is. There's me. Oh. So yeah, good morning. We slept really stupidly well. Um, I don't think I'll be doing any video in today. Because... I ain't got much battery life left. And um I don't wanna what's call it run out of battery and then that's it. But never mind. Yeah, we slept really stupidly well, apart from about four o'clock this morning when we both had to get up to go to the toilet. And she disappeared for about like ten minutes. So yeah, um, give me a second guys, because I think the screen's all, <laughs> that's better. The screen's all missing out, all fogging up. Uh, it's not very warm in here. It's warm, I'm warm, she's warm, but not very warm outside. Oh, never mind. Right, I'm going to leave it there guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully the next time I'll bring some more batteries with me. So I'll do the whole trip. Well, we'll soon find out. But if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please leave me a like. If you leave me a dislike, please tell me why. I don't care, don't bother me. It would be nice to know what you think. Truthfully. And see you in the next one guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Right, now you've seen the video. I'm glad I'm hoping you enjoyed it. Um Thank you for watching all the way through, and, um, and there'll be another one coming up soon. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. In the next one, will be an epic kit video. Bye, guys.